In this video, I'm making a kindling splitter. I saw these online for over $100 and it just seemed ridiculous. So I went down to the hardware store, bought the cheapest hatchet I could find and a bit of steel. It barely cost me $20. And I'm really quite impressed with how it turned out. To start with, I got a bit of PVC pipe that the axe head fit in um, and used a bit of cardboard to wrap around it to, to measure the size. I then just found a bit of scrap steel that was slightly bigger than this. I used the sheet metal folder that I'd made in an earlier project to bend the steel into a circle. As you'll see, this wasn't perfect and needed a bit of extra encouragement, but all came to, together in the end. After I had welded this together, I cut a few lengths of rebar to use as the side supports. I wanted to make sure these were perfectly upright when I welded them on, but as they're just for the support, they don't really matter too much. I used a bit of angle iron for the axe head to sit in. The axe head had a thick coat of paint over it, so I just needed to grind this off to make it easier for welding. As this is the core of the whole thing and you're going to be copying all the abuse, I wanted to try and make sure it was as straight, level and centred as possible. I'm never too confident in my welding abilities, so I kind of went a bit overboard in this one just to make sure it wouldn't crack. I started off by tack welding it all together just to make sure everything was in the right place and then went back over it again once I was happy with how it was all sitting. Once this was all together it just needed a few extra lengths of angle iron to support the base. And that's pretty much all there is to it. As you'll see, I had one weld fail on me, but this was a pretty easy fix. I was pretty impressed with it. It makes splitting up kindling quite quick and easy. And I was even happier that I didn't spend over $100 on it. But anyway, that's it. Thanks for watching. Cheers.